I had lived in Somerville for 30 years. In 1992, I became self-employed as an artist. It was hard to earn a living that way, and it became increasingly difficult financially. It was a very, very difficult time because I was very, very depressed. And it reached a point where I couldn't work anymore, and I, I couldn't pay my rent, and it was very scary. When I first started not being able to pay my rent, Cass started looking for rent money for me and talked to my landlady several times, reassuring her that they were trying to find the money. Cass was so helpful to me because this experience was completely new to me, and I was dealing with all kinds of state agencies and federal agencies, et cetera, that I had never dealt with before, and it was, it was like living in a whole new world. Cass was a lifesaver for me. The mission of Community Action Agency of Somerville is to reduce poverty where we work and live and also to eliminate society's causes of that poverty. Some of the causes for poverty in the community here in Somerville and Cambridge tend to be the lack of housing, uh, the lack of employment, the lack of accessibility due to the newcomer status of some of the population that we serve. We have a high population of newcomers. We have about 32 percent that are foreign-born, and so the language barriers that we have definitely influence their ability to be self-sufficient and moving on and uh, contribute to their ability to get some of the resources that we have. We have two programs, the Advocacy Program and the Head Start Program. Head Start offers a real holistic approach to the care of both the child and the family. In particular, we have the Father's Program, we have the Parent Resource Center for the intergenerational programming that goes on as well, and the health and nutrition resources for the entire family. Uh, CAS, Head Start is definitely more than just a daycare for kids. They work with not just the child, it's more focused on family development because if you help the family, eventually it trickles down and you are helping the child as well. They teach ESL programs to a lot of the parents. They do a lot of home skills, like they teach people how to cook, which is something I myself would love to learn one day. Once I get the time, I know it will be available through CAS. I took part in a early childhood uh, class that uh, CAS provided to parents, and for the parents it was actually free. To me it was just feed them, clothe them, send them to school. But it's discipline, it's health, it's nutrition, it's working with the co-parent, you know, whether your relationship is good or bad, working together in the best interest of the child. You know, there's so many different aspects and it really opened my eyes and hopefully I think it made me a better better father and a better parent. So then we might be gonna try this in. The Parent Resource Center at Head Start offers an opportunity for both parents and grandparents to be able to socialize and also offer uh, the children an opportunity to see uh, intergenerational communication. I've worked for Head Start since 1981. I have had um, six children that have gone through the Head Start program. Without the Head Start program, I believe I wouldn't be here today. Um, I, I had many, many emotional problems. I um, went through a lot of personal issues that the Head Start program helped me. I was 500 pounds, and I wouldn't leave my home. 
and they encouraged me to come out. I had my family advocate was Donna Cabral, and um, she encouraged me to come into the Head Start program and volunteer. And she got me going, and I went through school. I got my, um, I went to, I, I actually um, got my associate's degree and my bachelor's degree through Head Start. I just graduated last year from Cambridge College. When this completely dries, then we'll put a clear lacquer over it. Donna gave us the opportunity to have the senior program, which we call the Purple Hat Club. And um, it has been the most rewarding experience for me because not only do I see the seniors thriving, but I love the fact, the interaction with the parents. We have a generational uh, workshop. Um, it's just wonderful. If I have to say that the Head Start program starts from infant to senior, I think we have the best rounded program there is. The advocacy program is about helping and empowering people, um, advising them, counseling them, supporting them. We have run an eviction prevention program for 15 years. We meet with tenants who are being evicted on a very short time frame uh, and give them the support and advice that they need. We will help them with applications. We will help them uh, with defenses to the eviction. Sometimes we negotiate with landlords. So there's a number of ways in which we can serve them and try to prevent an eviction. Welcome back to Latinos Living Better for the Future. I'm Beverly and today we're going to be interviewing a nutritionist and a doctor. One of the things we also do in our advocacy program is to help people speak with their own voices. The Jovenes Latinos Teen Peer Leader Program trains teens in public speaking, all sorts of leadership skills, writing skills, how to advocate for laws that are necessary in order to make the world a better place for Latinos and other people in the community. And the teens learn how to change their world. If they don't speak English, I can, I can talk with people in Spanish. Oh, that's what this is for you. Flip it, right, yes, another. great. And or we can present them with the one that's in their language. Right, we have it in Spanish, French, and Portuguese. Our community organizing program is a new program, and the reason why we uh, started community organizing is because we realized that in many cases we were dealing with one tenant after another tenant after another tenant who all had identical problems and thought perhaps we can actually work with them as a group to help them learn the skills that they need so that they will be able to help themselves and help others as well. CAS has helped us see what good all of us can do. The big issue here is mold, which is cancer causing. And people, my daughter developed asthma after we moved here because we've had mold in our apartment. Um, so the more we help the, the tenants to keep up with their maintenance issues, the more we keep that issue at bay, and uh, that's the way it should be. Rachel had put flyers around wanting to know if people were interested in a community garden, and when I saw that, I jumped. Things have progressed incredibly, and I've had many tenants come by and say, oh, you don't know how much happier it makes me to get up in the morning and come out here and see flowers rather than just grass and trash thrown on the ground, which is pretty much how it was before. It's an example of how making a small effort can produce something wonderful. 